I did a light pencil sketch of the squash, mostly of the outline on cold press arches watercolor paper. I add a wash of permanent yellow mixed with yellow ochre over the whole squash. I'm using a mid-sized sable brush. I just leave a bit of white where I can see a white highlight. I block in the shadow with a wash of violet. The yellow on the squash is not 100% dry, so I don't let the violet paint touch the yellow paint. Otherwise, one color will run into the other. The yellow is dry enough now. I add the stem and I put on the stripes. For this, I use a finer sable brush. I use pure cadmium red light and a bit of green along the edges of the stripes. It's what I'm observing on the squash. I let these colors bleed a little bit here. I work all around the squash. I don't finish one area at a time. I use a needlepoint brush for some of the tiny lines that I see on the squash. I go in with some deeper orange in places over the top of the first layer of orange. I almost always rinse my brush before putting my brush in the paint pans. I mix the paint with water in the palette. Sometimes I use pure colors, sometimes I mix colors. There's a darker shadow closer to the squash and I block that in with a deeper violet. When you darken one area Look around and see if there's any other areas that need darkening. I've got a light version of the violet on my brush and I paint right over the lower area of the squash where there is less light. I'm careful not to overwork it, otherwise the underpainting will blend in and make it look overworked. I tried to add another area of cast shadow. The squash wasn't quite dry enough and the paint runs. I just leave it alone because if I try to fix it, I'll make it worse. I keep working around the whole squash looking for areas that need more color or detail. I'm done. I'm stopping now and walking away. 